We've been talking a lot about the home parameters through these examples, but let's take a closer look at the granularity that home offers us when we're working on certain fixtures. I'm gonna say clear, sneak, enter. Just get rid of those values. And again, I'm gonna bring up group 12 to full. I'm gonna go ahead and tilt those up to our psych area. I wanna make those orange for today. And I'm gonna give them a gobo, maybe this one. And we're gonna go ahead and zoom these guys out a little bit. Great. So really quickly, let's look at some examples of home. If I come all the way back to the top of the fixture, you'll notice that I have home for each categories, as well as a home for the whole fixture. So I'm gonna say 111, and I'm just gonna hit home for the whole fixture. And you'll notice everything sweeps out. My color, my pan and tilt, my gobos, everything goes back to their default state. I'm gonna go ahead and say 112, and now I'm gonna home just my focus. So you'll notice that the color and the pattern stays in the fixture, but just my focus has gone back to home. So this is homing just the category. It will home all the parameters that live in that category. Because Beam has three subcategories, I can home individual subcategories. So I'm gonna say 113, form, home, and you'll notice that even though the gobo is still in my beam category, only my form gets homed, which included my zoom. So that fixture zooms back down. And then finally, I can home individual parameters if I'd like. So for 114, we're gonna find our gobo, and I'm gonna home just that parameter. Color and pan and tilt stay, zoom stays, my gobo flies out.